One thing that I find with your music and part of the reason why I really enjoy it is because, you know, you have to sort of listen in order to understand what's been said. And you might have to listen to it a few times, you know, because you don't catch everything because there's, you know, metaphors, similes mm. and all sorts of punches in there. Mm. So I guess you got to have some level of either interest or some might say intelligence in order to understand do you reckon when it comes to trying to play the game, quote unquote, that that can work against you, particularly in the climate that we're in at the moment? Um, I think, all right. I think there's a real skill in being able to say something complex or, or something that's a, that's not a basic idea, but delivering it in a way that's understandable by everybody, right? Um, I think sometimes in hip hop, people get a little bit too caught up in um, wanting to be kind of wanting to, wanting it to be bars so much that it becomes something that the average person wouldn't even understand what you're talking about. So I always try to, even if I'm putting a lot of kind of source on it in terms of I might have like a metaphor in there. It might be like a little double meaning in there. I wanted the general idea of it to still be completely understandable to someone who's never listened to hip hop in their life. Mm. Right. But, but I also wanted to reward somebody that did go back and listen to it a hundred times. I wanted them to hear something the hundredth time they didn't hear before. So I was trying to do both. So to answer your question, I think, I don't think that it is a negative if you are good lyrically, right? It is a negative if you are not understandable lyrically, right? So look, look at Kendrick, right? Kendrick is one of the most popular artists in the world among hip hop fans and people who the only hip hop they listen to is Kendrick Lamar. Mm. There's, there would be millions of people that exist in that bracket. Now, there are things that Kendrick Lamar is saying that they don't understand, but the general, the general story he's trying to tell, I think most people are receptive of. And if they don't get it, they still enjoy the song anyway. So I think the really great MCs can appeal to both groups of people. Um, so I don't think it's a disadvantage to be good lyrically. If you're asking, are uh, uh, people that are good lyrically valued? Uh, not always, but I don't think they ever have always been. I think every era of hip-hop has had, with varying levels, right? Uh, artists have existed that haven't been great lyricists. Mm. Um, and again, it goes back to who is making that decision. Are we talking about from the hip-hop community or, or outsiders that listen to hip-hop? So... I think that the more things change in some ways, the more they stay the same. It just sounds a little bit different. Um, so yeah. this is, this is a topic that I could talk about a lot because I think about this a lot. I've always been a, a lover of the, the way people craft their lyrics. Um, so this is something that I've always been interested in and I think about this a lot, but having said that, like there are some artists that, people will consider to be like basic or, you know, simple, but actually there is a little bit more going on there. So. Yeah. I hear that a lot about little Wayne. Like on one hand, I'll hear dudes say Wayne's trash. And then on the other hand, and I, I'm pretty sure Dave Chappelle even said it in one of his standups. Other dudes will be like Wayne's genius. And I don't, see the trash but i don't see the genius it kind of just but the thing is it is possible for human beings to be capable of trash and genius actually it's it's, it's possible for every human to be capable of trash and genius i think little wayne is uh someone who has been saying clever shit for years year after year after year after year 
it doesn't mean that every verse he's ever had is punchline after punchline fire, right? But he has had an incredible amount of clever things said. If you look at him from like probably 04 to 09, that's a pretty incredible catalog. So, so I guess who are some of the artists when you talk about, you know, dudes who can say something that maybe is complex, but in a way that everyone can understand? Who are some of the artists that you think do that the best? I think if you, this is a tricky one, right? Because I'm not saying that everything they say is immediately understood by everybody. I'm saying that they can tell a, a story and there will be little bits in there, little kind of moves, if it was an athlete, little tricks that the average viewer doesn't see, but the trained eye does. Um, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm instantly thinking of that Jordan game six when he pushes off. Or it's like a Mayweather fight, how like someone that doesn't normally watch boxing will be like, oh, he's running. But people that are, you know, real keen eyed boxing fans appreciate the defensive display you know mm. it's it's that it's that thing so um if you look at an artist even just like jay-z who's like a he's like a global superstar but if you listen to a lot of his music there will be moments where he's really gone hard to put a real clever bar in there and it might just be a little thing in that bar, not even a, the punchline of the bar. Um, and he's done that for people that appreciate lyrics. So that's that's what I'm talking about. Mm. It's it doesn't mean like I think what I'm trying to say is the the great rappers can hit two targets with one verse. I think that's for me that's a sign of a, a, a high level lyricist. Yeah, and I guess when you say that, Jay Z is probably the first name that comes to mind. Definitely one of the first few. Yeah, yeah. And there's and there's a lot of rappers that don't try to hit two targets, and there's nothing wrong with that. Most rappers probably don't on one side or the other, but I think there's a elite few that can hit both with the same words. The the, the, the lesson. Oh yeah.